Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be checking out a Cascade wallet by a company named Manny Wonder. The wallet comes elegantly packaged which screams out premium content inside. We'll also check out a leather cover made for it and towards the end of the video I'll compare it to a fake Cascade wallet. So let's begin. The enclosure lid is held down by small magnets on each corner. It's very easy to pop open. So right behind this is a diagram of the parts of the wallet. It shouldn't be too difficult to use. The wallet has a very slick profile and has a very fine finish. I'll just put it to the side for a few seconds and see what other cards are behind it. This card here is giving you some awesome information. Uh, you get a chance to win $500 in store credit when you post your Cascade wallet photos and videos on Instagram. So I think that's pretty cool. You might want to take a shot at this if you buy it. The other cards behind have instructions on how to use the wallet in two different languages. The wallet has a very cool and smooth feel to it all the way around. All the corners have a chamfer so no sharp corners. The silver and black color combo looks very good. The wallet measures up to be just slightly larger than a credit card and weighs in at 108 grams with a leather case on it that I will show you in a bit. On the right side of the wallet is a small sliding lever that moves freely which you use to push up your cards. There is a lid on here to prevent your cards from falling out. The wallet can hold up to 5 credit cards with race numbers or 7 regular cards like reward cards that don't have any race numbers. The wallet also offers RFID protection to keep your card's information secure so that's awesome. There is some good amount of pressure you need to put onto the lid to open it so it won't be flapping around and dropping your cards. I don't know what the lid's fatigue point is but it's also made from aluminum so it will surely handle many openings and closings until you start to notice it to wear out and become loose but only time will tell. So now I will load it up with 6 cards and see how it slides up in cascades. So you have to keep the lever pulled up with your thumb otherwise the cards will fall back down and it would have been nice if the card stayed raised up without having to keep your thumb pushing up on the lever but it's no big deal. This case is super convenient if you go through drive through often or at theaters where they slide your card for you. It is very easy to give out your card and put it back inside the wallet. You just push up on the lever and select the card you want to pay with and then hand it to the cashier. It's not a drastic difference from getting it out of a normal wallet, but it feels much faster. And also the size of the wallet is great if you like to wear skinny jeans and carry your wallet in your front pocket. As I found carrying the wallet in your back pocket when you sit down to be uncomfortable because it starts to dig into you so you have to shift it around to, to make it comfortable because it's a very stiff wallet. If you want to carry cash on here you can do so since this has a money clip flush with the whole body that looks very nice. There's a small groove on the side to help you push up with your thumb and release the money or put in money. It can hold a couple of bills and you will have to fold it a couple of times so it doesn't stick out on the side unless you don't mind that. I just think it looks neater not having to stick out on the sides. Now putting cash does cover up their logo. They could have added the logo on the back if they wanted to have that shown off but then again the back looks cleaner that way. So this wallet is geared towards minimalist. I don't really carry cash with me so it's not a big deal for me that you can't fit many bills in this wallet. But if that's a big issue for you they also offer a leather cover which is made from real leather so it should last you a long time as well as the Cascade wallet. The first Cascade wallet they sent me, the bottom hole was missing a piece so the cover wouldn't go in and they sent me out a replacement right away so the customer service is very quick. I have been rocking my wallet with the cover on not only because it can hold additional cards and cash but because it feels more comfortable to hold, it just feels nicer. The leather feels and looks very attractive and the detachable leather cover is easy to snap on and off. It uses a velcro strap to keep it close which has been doing its job well. I really like the look of it and I will most likely keep it with the cover on. It can hold 4 additional cards besides more cash so you can put your driver license or other rewards cards in there. It is only one slot with a divider. You can even squeeze in a third card in there if you really have to carry that many cards. So you will still have to fold your cash to make it fit. One fold doesn't cut it if you will be putting a lot of bills in there. So the wallet can hold up to 11 bills folded halfway and there will be a bulge on the wallet depending on where you put the money in and the velcro strap will close but it will not look as nice. So this wallet is not great if you have to constantly be withdrawing a large sum of cash monthly like $600 or so in 20 or 50s depending on the bank's ATMs that you go to. It will be too many bills to fit in there so you will end up having to carry that cash in your pants pocket. So really this wallet is for those who don't have to be withdrawing large amount of money. Even 320s is too much to carry in this wallet. So just pointing that out. 
So after owning this wallet for a couple weeks now, I've been enjoying it a lot and I found myself folding the $1 bills and $5 bills together and the 10 and 20 together and putting each one on each corner of the wallet. So that way I stayed more organized when I did carry cash with me. There's a small cutout on the top that helps you access the lid so that way you don't have to open up the wallet to be able to take out your cards. So that is very nice. Something I found kind of funny is that for the first week, every time I went out, I felt like I was forgetting something because this wallet is small comparable to all the wallets I have used for the past 8 years. So I would have to constantly check my pockets to make sure my wallet was there. It felt strange, you know what I mean? It was just something getting used to for the first days. I know it's silly, but just throwing it out there as an experience with the Cascade wallet from someone who has been used to having a large wallet, not because I had a lot of money in it, but because the wallets were just large. So now that we are done looking at the Manny Wonder Cascade wallet, let's take a look at a fake Cascade wallet and compare them. So the build quality of the fake Cascade wallet is smooth with no noticeable defects and it feels rigid. This doesn't have a lid to enclose your cards in and there is a lever you pull back on and release it to pop your cards up and that does feel nice and this works well with even one card in it so that's great. This wallet can also fit 5 to 7 cards in depending on whether they have raised numbers or not. When you fill it up with cards it will take a hard shake to have them come out so it won't be falling out that easy but it will fall out eventually. What I like about this wallet is how the cards stay raised up compared to the Manny Wonder Cascade wallet where you have to keep your thumb pushing up on the lever so that is cool. The cards cascade or found out nicely as well. There is some soft fabric in the inside of the fake Cascade wallet and when you pop up the cards it's quite loud. With this one you are limited to just 7 cards and no cash and it also doesn't offer RFID protection and the cards can potentially fall out if you're not careful with the Cascade wallet. Both materials feel durable, the Manny Wonder Cascade wallet is much thicker but you are getting much more with the Manny Wonder. But you will also have to pay a higher price for it. The Cascade wallet itself goes for $159 and the detachable cover is an extra $39. So it's not the most affordable wallet around. You can probably find much cheaper wallets. So maybe having the wallet itself be $100 and the leather cover $39 would have been a better deal or just include both of them for $159. That's just my thought. I don't know what you guys think. So let me know your thoughts below in the comment section and I will leave the link to the Manny Wonder Cascade wallet in the description. Alright, so that concludes today's review. Thank you guys for watching and leave a like if you found the video helpful and subscribe for more tech related videos and I will catch you guys on the next one.